the fighting freak knuckles and we're at pumpkin hill you ready i ain't gonna let it get to me i'm just gonna creep down in pumpkin hill i got to find my lost peace i know that it's here i can sense it in my feet the great emerald's power allows me to feel i can't see a thing but it's around somewhere i'm gonna hold my head because i have no fear this probably seems crazy crazy a graveyard theory i ghost try to approach me and got leery ask him a question and he vanished in a second i'm walking through valleys prying pumpkins in the alley didn't seem happy but they sure tried to get me had a back of up with a fist metal crack i'm hearing someone saying you a chicken don't be scared it had to be the wind because nobody wasn't there i searched and i searched as i climbed up the wall and then i started to fly i went in deep let it get to me i'm just gonna Just gonna creep down. 
down in Pumpkin Hill, I got to find my little speed. I know that it's here, I can sense it in my feet. The great Emerald's power allows me to feel. I can't see a thing, but it's around somewhere. I'm gonna hold my head, cause I have no fear. This probably seems crazy, crazy. Graveyard theory. I go try to approach me and got leery. Ask him a question and he vanished in a second. I'm walking through valleys, crying pumpkins in the alley. Didn't seem happy, but they sure tried to get me. Had to back him up with a fist metal crack. Hello, <coughs> welcome to the shark stream. Sorry, I wasn't expecting to cough right when I unmuted, and yet, this is the lot we are given in life. Hello, Audrey, welcome to the shark stream, it's good to have you here. Oh, gosh, hello, Ephemeral Mist. It is Silent Hill Saturday, and we have... Completed the games that were made internally by uh, Konami Computer Entertainment Tokyo in what is colloquially and internally referred, or what was internally referred to as Team Silent. And we have moved now into the era of Silent Hill games that were made by Western developers, basically uh, developers in Europe or America, mostly Europe. <clears throat> I am currently eating. I have teriyaki because I got a free bowl of teriyaki because I ha I use the app so I get rewards points. Mm. And I gotta say, free teriyaki tastes way better than teriyaki that I've paid for. Mm. Delicious. So today, we will be playing Silent Hill Origins. Uh, Silent Hill Origins was developed by, um, I think this one, this one was Climax. This one was Climax Studios, who would also go on to develop um, Silent Hill Shattered Memories, which we'll get to that when we get to that. Um, <clears throat> but you might be thinking to yourself, wow, the... The, the Silent Hill games developed internally at uh, K-Set all were very good, had a very, you know, sort of distinct visual, aesthetic sort of texture. And you might be thinking to yourself, I wonder what other developers might be able to do in this universe. And apparently, and I don't know if this was like a Konami mandate or what, but apparently, I guess, the first idea that anyone had <clears throat> uh, I am already seeing that OBS is telling me that the encoding is overloaded. So before we start, I'm going to need to do a hard stop change the frames per second, and uh, start back up again. But apparently the first thing that anybody thought to do was a prequel to Silent Hill 1. Because fuck coming out of the gate swinging with something, you know, unique. Hmm. No. What we really gotta do is we gotta retread shit. Hmm. Like, I mean, and there's some virtue to retreading stuff. Like, I will always be somebody who, at the very least, defends the first two movies in the Star Wars sequel trilogy. You know, there's a wave of sort of just, like, people dunking on Force Awakens these days. But personally, I always thought that given how long it's been, it had been since, like, the last Star Wars movie, where it had been, like, <clears throat> God, what is it, like, ten years or something? 
I think it's perfectly reasonable <coughs> to get at least sort of like one just kind of retread, just like, hey, this is what Star Wars is. This is what to expect. Let's fucking go. I don't think Silent Hill Origins had that much of a buffer zone, really. Um, let me take a look here. Silent Hill 4 release date. Silent Hill 4 came out in 2004. Silent Hill Origins release date. Silent Hill Origins was released in 2007, so like three years later. We didn't really need a retread of like this particular plot stuff, but fuck it, it's what we got. All right, I'm gonna go ahead, cut the music, mute myself, give myself a really good cutoff point for when I'm gonna have to splice this all together, uh, and we will be back at a lower frame rate so that my computer can chill out. Ah, much better, much better. All right. So now that my fucking OBS isn't freaking out, we can go ahead and get the game started. Uh, let me plug my headset into my TV here. So that I can go ahead and, uh... But how is everybody today, just while I'm getting all that done? I hope everyone's doing well. I'm gonna take another chopstick full of rice here. One second. There we go. <clears throat> I hope everybody's doing well. Hope everyone has having a good, good Saturday morning. <clears throat> ah, there we go. There we go. All right. Let's get started. So I am playing this on a PlayStation 2 using a uh, PS2 to HDMI converter that has been uh, graciously uh, bestowed upon me by a uh, friend of the stream and my roommate, JB. Thank you, JB. Everybody everybody, go on Twitter, at Gemstone Jester, and say thank you, JB. <laughs> You don't necessarily have to do that. Um, but if, but yeah, uh, so this is Silent Hill Origins. As I said, Silent Hill Origins was the first Western developed Silent Hill game. And it's not the worst of the Western-developed Silent Hill games. Like, that is pretty... The audio is really shaky on the game. Is it supposed to do that? How shaky are we talking? Hold on, let me... Give me one second. I just realized I can't hear it. <laughs> Let me check this. One second. One second here. I'm going to mute myself so I can get a good... It is pretty definitively not supposed to be doing that. 
Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, okay. Let's see if we can't futz with this a bit. <clears throat> I wouldn't know how to futz with the audio specifically for the Elgato is the problem. mess with some stuff here real quick. This is admittedly not something that I tested prior to this. In retrospect, probably should have. Probably should have known beforehand if there were going to be any issues. There goes Rosalina. Alright, let's take a look here. Hmm. The game could be haunted. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to throw the pre-screen back up. Because it doesn't sound like this on the TV is the thing. Like, that's kind of the main thing here that's fucking me up about this. Okay. Let me fuck around with a few things. I will be right Okay. I have exciting news. <laughs> I have managed to fix the audio issue, and it involved completely changing out the uh, piece of equipment I was using to, um, uh, <laughs> what's the word I'm looking for? Um, uh, go from uh, standard to high def. The 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 converter. I had to completely con change out the converter I was using. Let me go ahead and just... Okay. 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 Whew! Alright, so... I did confirm that this fixes the audio issue, thankfully. Uh, so we will be continuing. I need to clean up a bit, though, because I had to, like, 
push all sorts of shit around to try and fix this problem. And now my room is just an absolute mess. There's wires everywhere, amiibo cards, bootleg amiibo cards technically, but you know how it is. You know how it can be. You miss out on one limited release and then <sighs> your options are limited, much like the release was. Okay, let's go ahead, get plugged in here. This game thought it could escape us, but it was wrong. All right, Natalie's laughing about something, I don't know what. Okay, and let me actually just, hold on. Close my door a bit. Yeah, what's up? I fixed the issue. It's okay now. Okay, so here's a basic breakdown of what just happened. So the converter that I was using before that was so great graciously given to us by JB. Everybody go say thanks JB, but sarcastically. No, don't do that. Don't do that. That would be mean. Um, that converter plugged specifically like right into the back of the PS2, and then you plugged an HDMI cable into it. It works well through to the TV. The audio on the TV comes through just fine. Which normally would be what we want. Um, oh, and give me one second. Uh, I've just getting emails and messages and all sorts of things. Here we go. So what was I saying? Okay, so, uh, but for some reason when I was going through to OBS, uh, the sound was all crackly. Um, I don't know why, uh, but regardless... Uh, we are here now. I want to say that it probably had something to do, if I had to guess, with the fact that, like, the fucking thing turns on and off. Um, but, oh, I need to turn off, hold on, I need to turn off monitoring the audio on the computer or else you're going to hear everything in echo. But everything should sound a lot better now. This is going to be a fun stream for technical issues, let me tell you. But thanks for gi thanks for giving me that heads up like early on, because boy howdy, if I had only found out about that like an hour into the stream, I would have been fucking just. So embarrassed. So this is Silent Hill Origins. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead. Where do they put... I put the case for this somewhere. better but it might be a little loud could have just been the intro though yeah let me go ahead and crank this down a bit um there's gonna be a point during the menu where it's gonna go like all staticky because it's silent hill i just need to see where that peaks at as long as it's like low to mid yellow range in obs i think we should be okay a little bit more. Okay. Uh, so
so Silent Hill Origins, as I was saying, is a game about the origin of, well, I guess it's not really, it's not really an origin of Silent Hill itself. Origins is a prequel to the first game. It tells the story that was only sort of like really hinted at in the first game. Well, not hinted at, I should say. That was just sort of discussed in the first game. Um, files. I'm, I'm sending uh, an artist friend reference images for a character's outfit. So give me a second. I might be a bit. Um, do I have a good reference for that outfit. I might need to... I might need to fuck with this later, actually. God, I've been working on getting this started for an hour. We haven't even started the game yet. <laughs> Hope you're doing well, by the way. I usually say that at the start, but forgot. Well, it's okay. So this is a this is a story about the prequel. Of, this is a prequel. This is a prequel to Silent Hill One. It is about the events that lead up to the beginning of that game. And thus features a lot of characters from that game, such as, you know, Dahlia, Kaufman, uh, Lisa Garland is there. I gotta move this cable. Ugh. I just kind of threw this whole setup together in a panic. I was just like, oh god, this isn't working the way that I want it to. What will, it, what will I do? Uh, and then I figured it out. Um... And, as I was saying, this isn't necessarily a story that needed to be told. Like, we really kind of got the gist of everything that happened in Silent Hill 1. Do we need to know about the trucker that pulled Alessa from the fire? No, not really. Um, but fucking Climax thought we needed to. That's for sure. So we're gonna go ahead and start a new game. Subtitles on, vibration on. I'm using like this cheap piece of shit third party DualShock 2. It's not good. Who did I just pass there? That you, good buddy? Tree top tall and wall to wall. Travis, you messed up some bitch. What you doing on my road? Well, hit on a gig, bud. I'm taking the shortcut past Silent Hill. Stop up for coffee as soon as I hit Brahms. I'm beat. Bad dreams still keeping you awake. I told you, man. A girl or two would go a long way. Sleep like a baby with a chicken, your cat. Guess I just don't meet the right girls, bud. Maybe if you weren't always blabbering about losing your pants when you do yet, but how you don't even remember how why. Hey, chill. You don't see me bringing up your issues. <laughs> no need. My old lady keeps me fully informed of my feelings. The girl keeps notes. You mean she hasn't left you yet? <laughs> Any day now. See you around, Travis. Take it easy. 10-4. Catch you later, buddy. We're going to turn down the in-game audio once we have an opportunity to, uh, so that's not constantly peaking.
So this is our main dude, Travis Grady. He's a trucker. Obviously. Who's that? She seems huh? kind of familiar, doesn't she? Hey, come back. All right, so first things first, we need to Oh, whoops. We need to restart the game. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, something that I should mention about Silent Hill Origins is that there are certain options that are going to be really important for me to make use of. Uh, such as turning off um, the film grain and things like that, that are only unlocked if you've beaten the game at least once. <laughs> So, we admittedly have to restart the game here. We're just running into all sorts of issues. I couldn't recall if just, like, starting a new game d helped that, or if I had to load my cleared game. Uh, it turns out I have to load my cleared game. Who would have thought? Nah? Nah? Nah. Nah. <laughs> okay. Here we go. So we're going to be able to turn off the film grain here. We heard all this. Skip. Film grain is in... in I've, I've talked about... The issues with, like, film grain, especially hey, come when it comes to, like, streaming and, like, recording uh, footage of these games, it's really important to turn that shit off. Because it makes the game just look awful. So we're gonna go ahead, pop over to extra options here. We're gonna keep it on walk, you know, basic Silent Hill. Uh, noise filter off. Confirm. Firm, back out, and that looks way better. And it definitely helps with like the video compression, which is something we're already going to be dealing with. That girl, did I hit her? I need to catch up with her. We're already going to be dealing with a lot of like video compression because just by the nature of us, uh, you know, playing a PS2 game scaled up to HD. Oh, and I needed to, that's right, I needed to turn down the audio as well. Did that actually take? No, it didn't. So this is how the game starts. Pretty familiar in terms of like, oh, we very nearly hit somebody in the middle of the road. Oh, the music. It's it's still Akira Yamaoka. Akira Yamaoka, Mary Elizabeth McGlynn, fucking power team. Akira Yamaoka stuck around with this series for a while. And God bless him for it. Welcome to Silent Hill. I don't know what Travis has in the way of... It's... So, in terms of, like, games in this series that I've played the least, uh, obviously, I had never finished Silent Hill 4. Um, this is probably the one that I've played the least, just because... 
Uh, this and Silent Hill 1, it's really hard to play those, because... Oh I just don't have the uh, equipment to play these hooked up all the time. Whereas I've always got the equipment hooked up to play Silent Hill 2, 3, uh, Homecoming, um, Downpour. And I mean, to an extent, Shattered Memories as well, but I played Shattered Memories a bunch, like, way back in the day, so... Okay, so someone's in here, we gotta find them. Hello? Uh, you may recognize this stairwell, uh, from Silent Hill 1. It's a little bit bigger than it was in Silent Hill 1. There, there's, there's a bit of, uh, differences between how things looked in Silent Hill 1 and how they're going to look, uh, here in Origins. Just by virtue of it being a different game with a completely different team. You know how it is. Okay, I gotta stay away from the fire. There's a there's this thing called an accolade, which is like an unlockable thing that you get if you finish this under a certain amount of time. And to do so, you need to skip the cutscenes, because uh, the cutscenes will add to your time for that. I don't think I have it. I've got a couple accolades. A strange symbol. Looking at it makes my head hurt. You're coming with me. Yeah, I'll show off some of the accolades that I do have, uh, once we get into the game proper. <sighs> Alright. So, a mysterious burned girl. Who could it be, I wonder? We may never know. Ah! Fuck. Rude. Oh, not that way. Hold on. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. This can't be good for this girl. She is just, like, not doing well. And we're jostling her around, running into more fire. Wow. Huh. Weird. Ha-ha! <laughs> Weird symbol, but whatever. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, we gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. Time to fucking leave. How do I leave? There we go. And we out! Now. Safe hey. now. Someone help her. Where is everyone? Eh, no, let's just leave that at default. I'm I'm fucking around with like the brightness settings, but I think my I think games just don't look as bright on my laptop screen. But I think they're usually tend they usually tend to be fine. Who hit that piano? Where am I? Silent Hill. What happened last night? That girl. Did she make it? They would have taken her to the hospital. Coon Street. I need to see if she's okay. I would imagine that 
truckers probably talk to themselves a bunch. So, this is basically uh, the Silent Hill 1 map. It's not exactly the Silent Hill 1 map. There's some extra stuff like uh, Cedar Grove Sanitarium um, and a few other things. But otherwise, this is basically one-to-one -one for the most part. So, let's talk about Silent Hill Origins real quick. So, Silent Hill Origins was a game that was originally released on the PSP. Um, and, like a lot of PSP games around that time, I think, are, there's, a, there's a decent chunk of PSP games that were just ported to the PS2 or other systems. And you can always kind of tell, like... God, what was I playing? Um, I played through the God of War games some time ago. I made up my own sort of, like, uh, playing order for them. Because just, like, God, the timeline of that game, that series is, like, all over the fucking place. Like, there's one that takes place before... There are two that takes place before the first game, but one of them was, like, the last God of War game released before um, Dad of Boy... Uh, then the game that came out on mobile alongside, on, like, mo like the PSP alongside, like, God of War 3, uh, was a game that takes place after God of War 1, it was just like, bleh. Um, but this game got a PS2 release. The PS2 release is a little messed up, um, there's some issues with textures, some monsters look different. Um, but otherwise, it's fine. It's just, it feels like a port. Like, it feels like it wasn't... It looks and feels like it wasn't made for the PS2, really. Um, but otherwise, it hasn't been released on anything else. <laughs> Which is... Eesh, not the most glowing review. But then, I don't think Konami cares that much about a lot of the old Silent Hill games. Otherwise, they would have made the HD collection better. <laughs> um, I don't know. It would be nice to get, like, a full remastered collection of the Silent Hill games one through downpour, honestly. Like, I'd buy it. I would. Um, Silent Hill Origins of the Western developed games is probably the game that plays Hot Dog plays the closest to the original games like in terms of how it unfolds in terms of like getting around the actual controls and the gameplay can I like let me just eh... oh dang okay um because, like, they really switch things up for Homecoming uh, and Shattered Memories and Downpour. But this one, this one is probably the last Silent Hill game that has sort of, like, the control scheme of a Silent Hill game, really. Lock's broken, I can't open it. You have any... God, just you wait until we get to Homecoming. I'm gonna have so much fucking flavor text to work with. So, let me go ahead and talk about those accolades real quick. So, these are accolades. You get stuff. You can collect all the items in the game. I've collected all the items in the game. I've gotten, like, the best ending. Um, I explored every single nook and cranny. That's about it, though. Hold on, what was that? Wait, one second, one second. Map zoom in. Okay. Um, but like you can see here... We've got uh, some additional outfits. There's the savior outfit. Look at this. Look at this fucking JPEG. Let's go ahead and equip that. Show that off. 
Fashion Hill Origins. It's got a sick wolf howling to the moon on the back. Uh, we got the Explorer outfit, which is for, like, exploring. You've explored every corner of Silent Hill. Look at that. I look like fucking Indiana Jones over here. And then we have the Collector outfit. Which I think is just Vincent's outfit from Silent Hill 3. I'm pretty sure. No, it's not Vincent. You do get an outfit that kind of looks like Vincent's outfit. And the glasses on it are all messed up. Like, the textures are fucked. It's great. Some say Glamour is the end game of Silent Hill. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is. You're correct. Um, and, of course, you can see we've got a number of items. we got our flashlight, radio. we got our lucky quarter. Had this quarter since I was a kid from when my parents died. It's kind of my lucky charm. It has something scratched into it. It looks like 61. Uh, there's supplies, melee weapons, firearms. But we're not worried about all that right now. We need to get to the hospital for some reason. So one of the big things that people really kind of drill into you about why Origins is kind of a mess of a game is that Travis really doesn't have... Like, if it was a situation where, like, Travis tried to get out of town, he found that he couldn't get out of town... And then decided, like, okay, I might as well find out why I can't get out of town. Like, that would be one thing. But he never really stops to, like, ask that question. He just kind of decides, well, I might as well hang around. Like, it's just like, ah, I gotta go see if that girl's okay. Like, that's reasonable. Also, these roads are all fucking busted. But he's got nothing to say about that. Also, you can punch things in this game. It's the first Silent Hill game where uh, you can punch things with your bare hands. So here we are at Alcamilla. No thoughts, head empty, Travis. I can respect it. And I remember, I think a Let's Play that I watched said that up until this point in the series, this was the closest you were going to ever get to, like, a tutorial level. Under construction. Currently, the second and third floors of the hospital are undergoing renovations. At this time, they are closed to patients and visitors. Uh, give me one second. I'm going to go ahead and start in on downloading those uh, two mini ch stream chunks. Download. Download. Because I'm going to need those later. Uh, at this time, they are close to patients and visitors. Work continues in earnest, and the hospital management thanks you for your continued cooperation as we try to minimize the disruption. We estimate the construction will be completed within six months. The restructuring of the third floor will almost double our capacity for inpatients and introduce cleaner, more modern facilities. Here at Alcamilla, the quality of care we provide to you, our valued patient, is of the utmost importance. Dr. Phillips, chairman of Alcamilla Board. I'm sure that, like, some of these characters are, like, holdovers from, like, notes that you find in Silent Hill 1. But fuck if I remember any of them. So I want to say that this is straight up the, uh, map from Silent Hill 1. But also, I don't remember. It's been- listen, it's been, like, a few months now since I played Silent Hill 1, okay? Okay. I'm not going to remember everything. Also, here's our save point. Alright, we're going to go ahead and save in this slot that I was using as a... Uh... That I was using to test this game, I think, recently. Locked. Hello? 
But yeah, there's a bunch of fun costumes that you can get in this. Um, there is a UFO ending for this game, and you get, like, a Shiba Inu fursuit for getting it. I don't know if we can get it. I think... I want to say I'm pretty sure you have to get both of the other endings first. Lock from the other side. Hmm. That sounds like cutscene music. Hmm? So notice about a recent fundraising event. Is that all? Okay. Why are you looking at it? Hey, you a doctor? Can I help you? That fire last night. The girl who was burned. Is she here? A girl? We've received no new patients in the last day or so. Was she hurt? She was burned all over. Are you a relative? What did you say her name was? I don't know her name. I was the one who saved her from the fire. She must have been brought here. Is there another hospital? There are. I'm sorry. Perhaps someone in reception could help you. I have urgent business to attend to. But there's no one in reception. Oh, okay. Well, all right. He was less than helpful. Let's follow him. Hmm? What are you looking at, Trav? Because I got nothing better to do. A dirty gurney. Someone just left it here? Who's just leaving dirty gurneys? Alright, uh... I guess we'll just follow him. Why do you go to the under construction floor? I think they've been disconnected. So out of all the characters in this game, Travis is the only, oh wait. Wait. Stop it. Stop it. Fuck off. So our first enemy is a nurse. Because there's nurses in Silent Hill. As you know. Uh, so something to note here. Uh, about our weapons is weapons in Silent Hill have, in Silent Hill Origins, have, uh, degradation. Um, this one doesn't because it's an unlockable weapon. Is this music too loud? I just want to make sure. <laughs> like, can you hear me over the music, uh, with the volume that it's at? Yeah, weapons in Silent Hill Origins have durability. Uh, but... Thankfully, it kind of balances this out by, like, giving you a lot of weapons. Like, you end up carrying kind of a lot of shit. Might be a touch loud. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and, uh... Turn that down, then. Yeah, no. This is a good place to test this, because the music is very loud. I think that should be okay. Oh, 205's open. So Travis now knows that there's weird shit going on. Here's a mirror. Mirror looks weird. Something wrong with the mirror. The reflection isn't right. What is this? 
Preliminary diagnosis. Third degree burns. Patient is unconscious. Something has prevented damage spreading to the internal organs. Tissue damage is limited to the epidermis and extremities of limbs. How is this possible? Fucking who goddamn knows? Who's ready for a fucking mechanic? The gurney is stained with blood. Some of it still seems wet. Are you ready for mechanics? Hold on. Is there anything in here? Well, drugs I don't recognize. Wow, no, no, no dropping that one down, huh? That one's just loud. Let's, uh... Just real quick. There we go. That should help. So this is gonna look really weird when I do this. I'm just gonna warn you right now. You're the girl from the fire. How did you... I'm seeing things. This ain't right. It's not. So, the other world works slightly differently in Silent Hill Origins, where in other games, the other world was just sort of like, at one point in the level that you're playing, things just shift, and now you're just in there until you finish it. In Silent Hill Origins, you sh you use, ugh, ugh, excuse me, you use mirrors to shift between the fog world and the other world, or the misty world, as they call it in, like, the in-game hints. Um, now, you may have noticed that that transition looked a little weird. Let's get another look at that. Now, you may be wondering why that looks so weird. Well, the reason is, is that I have the, uh the the noise filter off so let's take a look at what that looks like with the noise filter on this is what it's supposed to look like makes a little bit more sense right uh we're not going to worry about that Because it's worth having the noise filter off. I will say there is a Let's Player that, like, probably one of the first Silent Hill things that I ever saw, um, specific, especially, like, got some plastic lungs. The first Silent Hill Origins thing I ever saw was by a Let's Player named Voidburger. Um, and her Let's Play of Silent Hill 1, or Silent Hill Origins, um, God, she went fucking above and beyond for it. It's actually kind of nuts. Um, she made it so that every time she did one of those transitions... Uh, oh, there's an option to just quit to the main menu? I wish I'd known that, so I didn't have to restart the game before. Um, she had made it so that every time like, she does one of those transitions to the fog world or the other world, it cut to like a version or, like, the game with the noise filter on, transitioned, and then cut back to the noise filter being off. Huh? Oh, hey, what's up? Ow. Okay. What? Oh, whoops. I accidentally went back through the door! Ah! Rude. Oh shit! Uh, mash that button! There we go. Voidburger's Let's Plays are always really good.
especially of Silent Hill games. Like, she did uh, Silent Hill 1, probably one of my favorite. Like, Voidbreaker does a kind of let's play, does kind of, this kind of let's play that isn't really done a whole lot anymore, the subtitle let's play. Most people don't do that. Um, but, like, in her Silent Hill 2 and 3 Let's Plays, she does not only, like, a spoiler-free subtitled version, but also, uh, what she calls the nerd commentary with Bob Vids, um, where they just spoil the hell out of things, but it's, it's voice commentary. It's really neat. I gotta tell you, doing some of these quick time events with, like, the shitty third-party DualShock 2 is, like... Not great! <laughs> Where are we? Ah, we're in down. Well, I don't want to go down just yet. I am going to take this hammer, though. We're in the down room. Okay, can we get into the nurse center from here? Now, one of the things that kind of sucks about, like, oh, uh, mirrors transfer you between, uh, the fog world and the other world is that, like, it's really just like, oh, now you've got double the number of environments to fucking explore. Enjoy, idiot. What's this? Yeah, I got the golden egg. Fuck, I sure did. Parts of the snow are obscured. Worry not. Meh, 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 I have used the meh, meh, meh to contain her power. No one will come to her aid. Meh, 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 one of the five meh. Hide them. Protect them. Meh, meh. Fucking sure, buddy. Got anything else in here? There's some obscure meat on the floor. That's cool. So part of what the, another thing that the uh, noise filter does is that it's also a visual indicator that monsters are nearby. I got a portable TV. Um, where like the noise filter will go fucking nuts if there's a monster, if there's a monster nearby. But like, we've already got the audio. We don't need it. What's this? The heart of my, this heart of mine troubles me with its trembling. To still it, I have put it on ice and locked it away. Remember, the three beauties who caused it to pump are the pump. So are the key. Age before beauty. Fucking okay. Huh. Oh, I should actually show that off. So the portable TV is a one-time use weapon. It's very powerful, but like when you hit something with it, it breaks immediately. So like you can also throw weapons like this. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a weapon. Yep. All right, we got a nurse around here it sounds like. Oh yeah, there she is. Oh shit. That's not fair. I wasn't anywhere near you and I had just started attacking. Heck off. Oh shit. I should probably heal actually. Ooh, I'm not doing well in terms of health now that I'm looking at it. Alright, so where are we gonna go now? I guess we could go to down. I haven't really made a decision as to whether I'm going to set it so that Travis runs everywhere or not. It might be something to do, just because he otherwise moves very slowly. Hmm? What are you looking at, Trav? I got a health drink. Fucking sick. I should probably use that right now. Okay, we're good. 
It's going to be really important for me to pay attention to Travis's uh, head movements because this is not the best fidelity to be playing this game at. Definitely designed with like a CRT in mind. Alright, something's nearby. Right, can I go this way? There is a death mask on the door. Underneath is a plaque which reads, Even the blind have need of eyes if they wish to gaze at the future. Well, shit. I don't got no eyes for you. Oh, shit! Haha! -ha. I have killed you, making me the victor. I got an alcohol bottle. It is also... A one-time use weapon. Much like the portable TV. I love how goofy this game is, honestly. Like, it's definitely not the best Silent Hill game, but it's also not really the worst. There's an oval depression in the door. Underneath is a plaque which reads, Even in this inferno, from out of the flames, I saw life born anew. Uh, we have something for that, actually. Just pop this bad boy in there. Bloop. Nothing to see, just a filthy toilet. What are you looking at? Cistern lid is loose. Remove it? Yeah, sure. Oh! Plastic liver. Disgusting! Alright. So, oh, hold on, what's this? This is actually something important, I'm realizing. Having trouble with your anatomy class? Find that getting them out is much easier than putting them back in? Just remember this easy mnemonic. Inside Stevie, little Henry lurks. What? Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and spoil you on what this is. So, we're gonna find five pieces of plastic organs... And we're going to have to arrange them properly in a body in a little bit. Uh, and the way that it works is it's intestines, stomach, liver, heart, lungs is the order that it goes in. Uh, so that's a mirror that we can use to get back to the fog world. We're not going to use it yet. Because we're going to... Just to see if there's anything else we can do here. Nope, lock's broken. Can't open the door. So, the practical use of the mirrors is to get around barriers in each version of the levels that you're in. Just gonna bunch of cleaning products. Not that anyone seems to do much cleaning around here. Ah, got him. Yeah, I get fucked, janitors. Got a health drink. Doesn't sound like anyone's in there. Huh? Someone has written on the door. It says, Amy, 31. Oh. I got the staff lounge key. Dope. Alright, everybody. Remember, Amy, 31. It's important. Yeah, oh, man. Okay, so we are back here on the first floor, but we can get into the staff lounge now. And now we have access to another mirror to transport back if we have to. So I think this is the staff lounge door. Yep. What we got in here? Got cool cola. What is this? Someone's written on the wall. It says Lucy 23. Let's see. How about on this table? Just old textbooks, reports, and magazines. Nothing I need. So I think that camera angle was mainly trying to point me towards Lucy 23. I got a health drink. Fucking sick. What is this? 
A toaster? Guess what it is? It's a one-time use weapon. Look at his fucking face. He's like, uh? 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 Got the exam room key. Now oh, we're just getting key. We're it's fucking discount keys warehouse over here. Construction. As you know, the renovations to the upper floors have run into problems. The plumbing leak and, substa and substandard materials used have forced us to close off the third floor until further notice. We are reminded of the familiar, familiar adage, you get what you pay for. We now face six more months of work, reducing our capacity for the coming year. We'll have to cut spending on inpatient care and consultancy fees by 50%. Therefore, we ask doctors to refrain from committing patients and encourage home stays instead. Unless they're dying in your arms, don't book them in. Staff party! Worry not! The staff party is still on! Our recreation budget is locked away where no one can tamper. Everyone meet at Annie's Bar at 8 p.m. on Friday. Alcohol, medicinal of course, and food will be free. Arrive early to grab a trainee nurse. They go... <laughs> oh, oh, barf. Gross. <laughs> Why are y'all like this? Uh, is this food still good? It's been sitting there for a hot minute. Oh, it's still good. Okay. Why are y'all like this? Why must y'all be like this? I don't understand. I suddenly got really hungry. It was a mention of free food. It reminded me of my own free food. So we got Amy 31 and Lucy 23. Now the clue was age before beauty, so I don't think the names really matter. I think it's Pretty much just the ages. So we've got 3, 1, and 2, 3. That's what's important. Alright, where are we? We need to go to the exam room. Here we go. So something that I didn't really touch upon uh, before uh, when we were kind of sitting through the opening credits. Um, this is the first Silent Hill game that was worked on by a Mr. Tom Hewlett. Um, Tom Hewlett was basically the lead on pretty much all Silent Hill projects after uh, they started sort of like pawning them off to Western developers. And for better or worse... For a, for a while there, was basically the face of the franchise. Um, unfortunately, this means that he got a lot of undue, like, crap for some of, like, the uh, parts of the series that people were less than thrilled by. We're going to take this typewriter, which is also, wouldn't you know it, hold on, a one-time use weapon. And we're going to read this. What we got? To all staff, it is forbidden to enter my office unaccompanied until further notice, Dr. Kaufman. All right. That was Dr. Kaufman at the beginning of the game. I don't know if anyone put that together. All the characters in this game, except for Travis Grady, are just characters from the first game. I don't think there are any new ones. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Someone has written on the x-ray. It says Sarah, 19. So, 312319, I think. I got a plastic intestine. And I got a plastic stomach. That was a terrible noise. What was that? It was like... Burnt. Can't open the door. Alright, so... We got this guy. There's a plastic anatomy doll that's missing some parts. Take a look. Yes. So, we have some of the parts to do this. So, we can do Inside Stevie, Little Henry Lurks. So, intestines. Stomach. Inside Stevie. Liver. Little for liver. But here's the thing. We don't have Henry. So, we're going to need to go get Henry and come back. Henry is, of course, the heart. 
Um, but thankfully, we have everything we need to unlock the box of the hearts in. Let's go ahead and save real quick, since we're over here. Any second now. Okay. That had me worried for a second there how long that was taking. Just check the nearest hole. Should find him. <laughs> oh, that Henry. Always going in and out of holes. I believe the Otherworld version of the map should have it marked off where the heart was. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, so let's see here. Gotta go look over at floor two. So it looks like it's in 204. So we should just need to go up the stairs and head straight for the room. Fuck, it's dark in here. Oh, so one thing I want to go ahead and show off real quick is uh, one of the extra options that you get is you can change how your flashlight looks. Like there's this one which is a smiley face. It's like you get a, you get a smiley face. It's very, it's very funny. Very cute. I don't know how well that's showing up on stream, unfortunately. I maybe should have waited until I got to a different place. Uh, we get one that's a soccer ball, because, or I guess, uh, because this was made in the UK, a football. Hold on, where's the fucking door? Oh, it's up here, hold on. Football. Uh... You get this one, which I think is, it looks like a jack-o'-lantern? A little jack-o'-man? Jack-o'-man-turn? There he is. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. 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 Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Alright. Uh, then I think this one is the Halo of the Sun, maybe? Let's take a look. Yeah, it's the Halo of the Sun. This one is probably, like, the least useful one. Because it's a little fucky-wucky. A little fucko-boingo. So we're just going to stick with the regular flashlight. But there, it's a, it's a neat little thing to unlock. To be sure. This reminds me of the little plastic caps you get at the dollar store to put on your flashlights. That was a thing. Alright, so we should just need to go to the end of the hallway here. I think it's this door? Listen to that. You hear that? This is a neat little Silent Hill thing, admittedly. Because so far all the organs that we've been getting have been like plastic organs. So we show up here, and this thing is like, you can hear like a heartbeat. And it's just a plastic heart. And the heartbeat has stopped. It's neat. It's neat. I like it. It's a, it's a genuinely cool thing. I tend to try to be as positive about Silent Hill games as I can possibly be. Oh shit! Oh fuck, my thing broke. Scalpel. 
I try to be as positive about Silent Hill games as I can possibly be, just because, like, I just enjoy playing things. You know? I like video games, and I like playing them. I know, wild to think about. It's a fucking concept, let me tell you. Oh shit. Yeah, stab you in the butt. Get stabbed in the butt. What? You like video games? I know, it's crazy, right? Okay, so now we have everything we need to finish the puzzle. And has the... Okay, yeah. Save file. Save file. Alright. So now we just need to head back to the examination room. Is that what it was? Is that what it was called? Yeah, the exam room. Even drew, he even drew a little, little anatomy dummy on there. Every Silent Hill protagonist is just blessed with skills of an artist. Alright. Henry... Lurks. Oh! Terrifying. Doll's eyes have opened. My eyes now, bitch. What are you looking at? All the organs have been returned to the doll. A pair of glass eyes. Salmon. A pair of glass eyes taken from the anatomy model in the exam room. I feel like I remember, like, watching a, the playthrough of this game and those eyes looking a lot more egg-shaped, which I think might have been because the playthrough was done in the uh, 4x3 aspect ratio. Can I fuck with the brightness in the game, actually? Extra options. I can't. Oh well, it's fine. So our next step is to head back because we need to go to that death mask that was on that uh, one door, which I think is just on this floor, actually. Oh, fuck! Why are you like this? Butt stab. How's the... This is on the verge of breaking. So yeah, I think it was just down this way. Yeah, here it is. So we just need to pop the eyes on this bad boy. Awful. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh my god, hold on. Shit. I'm only wearing what? Hold on. Oh my god. I fuck it fucked up. Hold on. Hold on. That's not supposed to happen. Okay, so I fucked up with the weapon switching and now the model for the gauntlet is just floating in the air. Oh, that's great. That's great. I love that. 
Okay, we're just gonna we're gonna leave that alone. You have fun. Yeah, let's go to the exam room. Huh. There's a weird what is this? She's been cut open and her eyes are missing. What kind of monster could have done this? Ah, it was us technically. <laughs> There's a weird meat hole on the wall. Nothing in the sink. Astute observation, Trav. Got a scalpel. Scalpel is not in the best condition. Alright, let's go through the meat hole. Uh oh. Something horrible awaits us in the meat hole! I fucked up. Ugh. Ah, shit. Ah, damn it! Fuck. Okay. We're in trouble. Ah, fuck. Damn it. Stop it. This guy is fucking me up severely, and I would really like him to stop. So that's the patient. Uh, you may recognize it as the lying figure from Silent Hill 2. Um, and it is the first boss of the game. It's going to be a regular enemy from here on out. Because this game likes to do that. Um, I think it's the first of two such enemies that start off as bosses. Uh, we got the future piece. We got a weird triangle. What is this? It's a... What did I, I just told you, Travis. It's a, it's a weird tri... Oh, you. hi. What was that thing? Good question. Don't worry about it. This... Are you okay? Oh, look who it is. Sorry, did I startle you? My name is Lisa. I'm a trainee here. Are you waiting for someone? No. No, I'm just... Well, I'm done here. Name's Travis. Nice to meet you, Lisa. You sure you're okay? No. You look a little shaken up. Sorry. No, it's okay. To be honest, I've been a little off all day. I was in a fire last night. I think it boiled my brain a little. The fire in the business district? How awful. I heard about that. No one knows how it got started. And that poor girl, Alessa Gillespie, to die like that. Alessa? She died? Yes. Sorry, did you know her? No, but never mind. Well, I have to run. Dr. Kaufman wants to meet me over at Cedar Grove Sanitarium. He'll be mad if I'm late. Maybe see you around? Take it easy, Travis. You too, Lisa. So that was Lisa Garland from Silent Hill 1. Now immediately, that conversation sends up some fucking red flags. About as red as her jacket. Um, Kaufman, of course, told us that they've not received any new 
new patients or anything. And uh, Lisa instead has so has told us that yeah, Alessa Gillespie died. How could she know that though? If they've not gotten any new patients, mysterious. She did mention Cedar Grove Sanitarium, which is a about as much of a clue as to where we're gonna go next as any. Uh, Cedar Grove Sanitarium is an area that is. Uh, new to Silent Hill Origins. It has not been in any other game. Um, I think of the area... Oh, someone locked door. I'll have to find another way out. Okay, well, fuck me, I guess. Let's go follow Lisa. She she showed a small amount of interest in us, it seemed like. That's all I need. I don't actually know how I'm supposed to get out of here. Where's the door at? Oh! I see it now. Wish I could turn the camera. Oh, there we go. That's what I was looking That's the button I was fucking looking for. Thank you. Now it's unlocked. A minimal amount of interest. Oh! Fuck, that sure is where we just were. Whoa. I think there's a costume that you can get if you sprint a bunch throughout the game. Like, you sprint most of the way. So now we've got enemies roaming the streets of Silent Hill. Uh, and we need to get... Oh, yeah, see? The offhanded mention of Cedar Grove Sanitarium uh, is all that we need to have an objective... Even though, again, by all rights, Travis doesn't really have a reason to be here. Realistically speaking. Oh shit. No, stay away. Get your defined butt cheeks away from me. Oh, Travis heard of a place and is simply compelled to go there. Yeah, that's basically all he needs. Cedar Grove Sanitarium. I should go there. Like that's the that's really that's really what people zero in on when. Uh, what did I just pick up? I didn't actually see what that was. Hold on. Oh, a baton. Let's go ahead and equip that just in case I need it. Which I might, if this guy is going to be fucking all up in my shit. Ah, shit. Triangle. Circle. Crotch stomp. Alright. Well, we have now used up the baton. I'm gonna... I want to try as little as I can to use the unlockable items unless I, like, really find myself in a bind. <laughs> Just because I want to show off this game in its purest form. Which I suppose would... Oh, fuck, he saw me. Uh, let's go... What is that? Right turn. Oh, fuck. DNI, DNI. No, 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 no. You stay away. Hold on, what's this? Jagged wood. God, there's a lot of these guys out and about, huh? Ooh. 
You know, I've picked up enough health drinks that I can probably stand to pop one of those. We also have an energy drink, which uh, refreshes our stamina. Let's go ahead and take a look at those. Caffeinated drink with a kick. Sometimes drink these on long drives. Keeps me awake. Power plus. Speaking of energy drink. But basically, when you're in, like, a state, like, for example, like I'm in right now, uh, where uh, your running speed has dropped because you're essentially out of stamina, um, which drains from running around, from fighting monsters, things like that, uh, you can use... Uh, ooh, meat hook. You can use one of those energy drinks to um, refill your stamina, which is not like a meter that you have necessarily, or at least not one that you can see. But it gets you uh, back up to tip-top shape. So we got another break in the road. I, it sounds like there's, like, 15 of them following me. Are they all just, like... Oh, God, all of them. <laughs> Y'all are really tenacious. Oh, fuck. Oh, need to get by, need to get by, need to get by. Ah! Ah! Gotta follow this mysterious blood trail. Surely, I, this will save me. Woo! Safe in the butcher shop. We're reaching another one of those things that people generally uh, count as a mark against Silent Hill Origins. You'll you'll know it when you see it. Fridge is empty. Refrigerator. Energy drink. Cool reactions there, Travis. Really, uh... Really selling that moment. So that's the Butcher. He's Pyramid Head's little brother. <laughs> Basically. A couple of the, um post uh team silent games figured they needed to have some kind of like pyramid head-esque enemy this is awful she's been cut almost in half it's a monster travis he's not really pyramid head's little brother that's that's a that's a joke i was making um but like and i mean that part of that i guess did kind of start with the uh konami computer entertainment tokyo developed games um, where, like, Silent Hill 4 had, uh, Walter Sullivan roaming around some of the levels. Um, though he was more of, like, a nemesis or Mr. X type of enemy. But, like, there's the Butcher. It's essentially, like, a faceless villain that has a big weapon. So you've got the Butcher in this game, you've got the Boogeyman in Downpour, and then you've straight up got Pyramid Head in Silent Hill Homecoming. Though he's called the Boogeyman in that one, too. Mm. 
This van is huge. Look at the size of this fucking thing. I think you get that big weapon. I think one of the one of the I think if you get the wor the bad ending, you unlock the a costume kind of modeled after the butcher and you also get his weapon. Now, unfortunately, we're not going to be going for the bad ending. Um, as pr as with the previous playthroughs, we're going to be going for like the best ending we can get. Which is the standard ending for this game, really. Target pistol ammo. I don't think I have the target pistol, though. Not yet, anyway. Oh, he saw me. Oh, fuck. They both saw me. Oh, God. Oh. Someone has written on the ticket. She's asleep now. I think you still manage to, like, outrun enemies in most cases, even if, like, you're low on stamina. Just because of most- a lot of them have, like, a wind-up prior to them actually starting their attack that's just, like, it's enough time for you to get just out of range of said attack. Although the patient, uh, enemies do have a projectile in this one, um, unlike the lying figures in, uh, Silent Hill 2, which just kind of had a spray. They have just like a full-on projectile spit attack in this one. Is this a weapon? I got a crate. I'm pretty sure that's one of the one-time use weapons. Yep. So part of the issue with the one-time use weapons is that if you're facing off against an enemy that has like a grapple, then uh... If they grapple you while you're holding one of those weapons, the weapon breaks. It sucks. It's probably like the worst way to do weapon degradation in a video game. Um, I feel like they got it a little bit more right in Downpour, because Downpour has weapon uh, durability as well. Um... But, like, it works a little bit better in Downpour. Because in Downpour, there's, like, a handful of weapons that are, like, really, really good and have, like, a decently high durability. Um, but, like, if they break, you can always find, like, little things around to, uh, like, fend off whatever enemy, like, it broke in the middle of fighting. So it can be it can be pretty handy. I'll of course show that show that off a bit more when we actually get to downpour. But for now, let's go ahead and get to the Cedar Grove Sanitarium. Well, no, well, no, not yet. Let's go ahead and we got a few more places to look around here. Come on, Trav. Got to keep the blood pumping. Okay, we really don't have that many more places to look around here, actually. So let's go to the sanitarium. Sanitariums, from what I understand... Um, now, you might... Gotta go to the place Travis arbitrarily wanted to go to for some reason. Cute lady say Cedar Grove... Say she go Cedar Grove Sanitarium. I follow cute lady. That's how Travis mind work. He's just like, I'm so lonely. Oh, we're almost there. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, they saw me at the same time, and that just amplified that sound effect. Oh, hey. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. 
Oh shit. Uh. 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 I'm trying not to fight in the streets as much as I can, because I'm pretty sure this is one of those Silent Hill games where it's just like the more enemies you kill, the more uh, likely you are to get the bad ending. There's a little journal, a little, little diary over here. Wish I could get to it, so I could take a look at it. There's a cool, there's a, there's a pretty decently cool enemy type in this game. There's nothing of interest on the counter, or in this level, I should say, uh, that I'm kind of excited to show off. Also, this place is very dark. I'm gonna see if I can futz with the uh, brightness on the stream here. I don't know if that helped at all. You know what, actually, hold on. I don't think it's brightness I want to futz with, now that I'm thinking about it. I think it's contrast. That looks a little better. On the stream, at least. It, it doesn't look good for me on my television. But, like, whatever. God, this area is big. Where's the fucking map? Did I run right by the map? Hold on. Where's the map for this place? Hello? Map? Please? I don't have a map for this area. Cool, thanks. Yeah, so let's just start going in and out of doors. See if we can't find the map. Oh, hey. I got the sanitarium map. Ha! Fuck. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot how big this place is. Oh, no. And there's a second floor, too. Ooh, golly. Oh, shit. All right. <laughs> We're fucking in it now. Wheelchair. Never needed to use one of these myself. Good for you? What a weird observation to make. Is that the only thing we got in here? Is there anything else? Oh, there's a note right here. What's this? Status report 312 1960. Patient, Mrs. Mermer, age 34. Examining doctor, Dr. Harris. Harris? Harris. Notes Patient continues to harbor strong fantasies in a violent persecution complex. Her mood can swing from calm to violent aggression in a short time, which has led to her being moved to the seclusion wing. She becomes particularly violent during the occasional visits from her husband, demanding that she be allowed to see their child. We have taken the precautionary step of adding epi epilinium to Mrs. Uh, Mermer's medication to prevent her violent outbursts. She doesn't like having to s having. I don't like having to sedate patients. But when she when she is aggressive, Mermer is as much of a danger to herself as to her visiting husband and the staff. Hmm. Me looking at a defibrillator. Defibrillator. Never had to use one myself. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, hey. You? You were at the fire. I saw you there. Of course you did. That was my house, burning. My daughter, Alessa. Yeah? You were the one who saved her. Yeah. She was your daughter? Why did you leave her? Why did no one help? You all left that girl to burn. So we did. The world is stranger than you think. You're crazy. What happened to her? Lisa said she was dead. Alessa is with those who care for her. Do not trust her, Travis. She does not know what she is doing. How do you know my name? Hey, answer me. No, that's not Mrs. Redacted. They're all crazy. Very astute observation, Travis. Gold star. We're gonna head back to the atrium here real quick because I want to check those other fucking doors. So we got Kaufman who had no idea what what we were talking about about a little girl. We got Lisa who says that Alessa died. And now we've got Dahlia Gillespie. That's who that was. Uh, being like, oh yeah, she's with those who care for her. Whatever that fucking means. I didn't think so. Just kind of want to write Mrs. Redacted. That's fair. Huh. Dr. Harris, our magpies have been at it again. This time they swallowed the damn keys for archives in the basement. Don't worry. Gary has taken Mr. Magpie to the TB ward, and I'm taking Mrs. Magpie to hydrotherapy. We'll make them spit the keys out. This job would be great if it weren't for the patients. Clem. It's kind of a weird attitude to have, considering your job is the patients, my guy. Maybe you shouldn't get into the medical field? Just saying. Kind of fucked up to say something like that, that's all. The West Solarium. Ah. The West Solarium. I see. Back at it again in the Solarium. I don't know why I'm putting on a not quite Albert Wesker voice. Don't ask questions. We have a gun now! And a filing cabinet. Gun. Reload. We have six bullets. Bang. Bang. I will not ask questions, just please don't shoot or file any papers, please. <laughs> the filing cabinet is a one-use weapon. Do I have anything that's not, like... Okay, we'll go ahead and use this. I think this is probably, like, a weaker weapon, but it's also in the green. There's some weapons that are just, like, a little bit more durable than others, and thus, if they're in, like, orange state, then they're less likely to break than, like, a weaker weapon that's in green state. But there really isn't any real indication of which ones are which, unfortunately. You just kinda kinda swing and hope for the best! Alright, so we do want to see about uh, following Dahlia here. So let's see, where are we? Uh, okay. I think, so here's the thing. Like, on one hand, this is probably like the prison in, I want to say Silent Hill 2, where it looks big, but it's not really as bad as you think it is. 
the main thing is that uh, there's two versions of this level. The Fog World version and then the uh, Other World version that we're going to have to work with. So we don't want to go to the stairs just yet. Now I'm wondering when we're going to run into that actually kind of cool enemy type. Uh, we got some storage areas over here. Let's check these out. Got a tire iron. That's pretty good. Screwdriver. Target pistol ammo. Target pistol ammo. I don't have time to read all these. Fuck this place. Stacks of medical records, not my sort of thing. I think one of the places that you can go to in this game is like the Silent Hill Records office, which I'm pretty sure is just a reference to uh, the movie. Kind of thing you see in a gun range. It stings more than it bites. So that's a way of saying that it's not the most powerful uh, weapon we could have. But let's take a look at that tire iron. What kind of state is that in? Orange state. We'll go ahead and stick with our jagged wood. Uh, another storage room over here. That storage room had a lot of good stuff in it, actually. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I don't know what he's looking at. Lock's broken. Oh, hold on. I got a drip stand. Oh shit, really? I forgot about that. Hold on. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Get me a fucking weapon like this for Dragoon in Final Fantasy. <laughs> Can you imagine? Just glamour your weapon to look like a fucking IV drip. Locked from the other side. Alright, is that all I can do for right now? Yep. Time to go to the stairs. Not that I've done Dragoon or anything. I haven't. One day. Love how Travis carries it instead of wheeling it around too. Yeah, I mean like... If he's wheeling it around, he's not ready to swing it. That's a terrible justification. Don't think that that's actually what it is. Okay, so we have options of basement or second floor. Let's go to the basement because there's going to be less down there. Looks like it's really just kind of a lot of long hallways and a few rooms. Anything over here? Oh, we might actually have something. I got a wrench! That looked like a big fucking wrench! Can I get a look at that wrench? Hold on. Oh, and it's in the green too. Fucking awesome. And we got some more target pistol ammo. We're just fucking swimming in it now. It's locked. Okay, second floor it is. I was looking into the possibility of uh, using like a PS2 emulator for this game, but God, let me tell you, PS2 emulation is some fucking complicated shit. You gotta use like the BIOS of like the PS2 that you own, or else it's like super illegal. And then I couldn't even get the game working. Oh yeah, here we go. So this is an enemy that like it's like a floating cage, but you can see its body in the shadow. It's super cool. I like it a lot. Ow. 
It also sounds like a dodgeball when you hit it. I don't know why. Maybe they, that's that's just what they imagine a shadow sounds like when you hit it. Alright, seems like it's down for good. It's a cool enemy type. I like it. Silent Hill Downpour does some cool things with shadows uh, for some of its enemies as well. Alright, looks like this door's open. Uh, but let's go ahead and see if we can explore the rest of this wing first. Dodgeball Shadow Cage. I forget what these particular enemies are actually called, unfortunately. I'm trying to remember what all of the stages in this game are. Oh shit. Because, like, I'm also trying to, like, judge how long this game is going to take. Shelf of junk. Oh, wait, what are you looking at? Shotgun ammo? Shotgun ammo? I don't even, sh I don't even have a shotgun yet! Who in the sanitarium has a fucking shotgun? Why do you have a shotgun in the sanitarium? Something I should mention- oh my god, oh my god, we're just getting all sorts of good shit. Something I should mention, um... When I first saw this game being played, I didn't know what a sanitarium really was. I assumed it was like an asylum thing, because I figured, oh, sanitarium, sanity. Um, but sanitarium, it's not sanity, it's the sanitary- the, the first part of sanitarium stands for sanitary. Um, they were basically places that, like, specialized in, like, um, or they attempted to specialize, I guess I should say, in, uh, people su uh, suffering, um, infectious diseases. They apparently called the remnant. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Um, but they were intended to specialize in people who were suffering infectious diseases. That's what, infectious diseases. That's why this place has a, uh, tuberculosis ward. That being said... It did also turn into kind of an asylum, uh, based on the lore, which, of course, brings about how, or brings up how I believe in the Best Friends playthrough of, I want to say, Silent Hill 2, maybe? Um, they say that, like, uh, Alcamilla turned into a mental hospital. Brookhaven turned into a mental hospital. The sanitarium turned into the mental hospital. So Silent Hill has three asylums and no regular hospitals. I'm getting iframes on these swings. I'm pretty proud of it. Just get her stun locked. All right, Drip Stand, it's you and me. Ow. Ow. Drip Stand, how could you fail me like this? Ow. Ooh, I'm not doing good. Ooh, I'm not doing good. Oh, shit. I mean, who really needs a hospital at the end of the day? That's true. This is a good time to use a first aid kit, I feel like. Drip stand failed us, unfortunately. But it gave its life. And that's all we can ask for. What better fate for a drip stand than to give its life in service of a horror game protagonist? We will remember your sacrifice, Drip Stand. Is 
it's unclear which of these like locked doors are going to be like the kind of locked door that we unlock from the other side or the kind that we like find a key for eventually director's office okay we got anything good for us in here nope godspeed drip stand godspeed <laughs> Ooh, an iron lung. Out of use. In light of the re recent accident, I am barring the use of all of the iron lung equipment. This applies to all staff, including senior nurses. Patient deaths during therapy are not to be treated lightly. I find it hard to believe that someone could accidentally overload every valve on the equipment. And so, until the inquiry has been concluded... Uh, I must assume the equipment itself is at fault. These precautions are essential. We owe a duty of care to all of our patients, even the difficult ones. Dr. Harris. I can see something metal inside, inside through the window. Yeah, let's take a look. Hmm, okay. Something got spat out of the iron lung. I didn't even see what that said. <laughs> I just heard a horrible noise, and suddenly I was back playing the game. Basement key. A key with the label saying basement access. Scuffed iron key covered in dirt says basement access on the tag. Okay. So we can get to the basement now. Cool. Start just pressing buttons. Sometimes that's what you gotta do. It sounds like something spawned in here. I can hear it. it sounds like maybe it's a nurse. Oh no, it's a remnant. Okay, we're just gonna ignore him. I'd prefer that you didn't. Oh, and there's a nurse. We're just getting all the fucking greatest hits here. Did I already check all that? Yeah, I did. Somewhat concerning to find a key after you were told the patient swallowed them, though. My assumption is that what happened is that they I don't know how iron lungs work I think I would assume it's a pressure thing I would probably guess that if you were to turn up the pressure on all the valves in iron lung it would probably force out anything that's inside the patient you're holding holding there and also maybe kill the patient <laughs> I don't know what it is with people in Silent Hill hospitals they're all very bad at their jobs and by bad at their jobs, I mean abusive towards patients. Because it doesn't get much more bad at your job than that. So this area seems like it's going to be kind of... Oh! I'm really glad I had the fucking brightness up for that. <laughs> so that you could see that... Because I feel like if I had had the brightness down, you might not have seen that thing crawling off into the darkness. I believe that enemy is called a carrion. It is essentially a, a, a fucking walking cow corpse, I'm pretty sure. 
it's pretty nuts, honestly. What do we got in here? Anything? Drip stand! You've come back to us! And target pistol ammo. I should see how much of that I have, actually. This is fucking. I got a bunch. I think I'll take my chances with the carrion first and foremost. Partially to show it off, partially because I just kind of want to go this way. I would like to. Oh shit. What? Okay. I don't know how that happened. The fuck, ah, Jesus. That fucking door has a huge hitbox. Ow. 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 Oh fuck, oh jeez, oh beans my guy, ah, oh. <laughs> That could have gone better. Ah, Christ, okay. Well, let's give that another shot. <laughs> it's a good thing I saved there. All right, motherfucker, round two. Let's go. I shouldn't have gotten close. I shouldn't have gotten close. I don't want to be here yet. some long hallways. East pipe room. Well, this door's open. Fuck, this room sure do have pipes in it. Like, discount pipe warehouse over here. Oh, gross. Looks like sewage outflow. All the sewage from the pipes drains down here. Stinks to high heaven. Nasty. Can I like get around that? Thank you. I don't think there's anything else I can do in here. This might need to be one of the Silent Hill Silent Hill Let's Plays where we start where we have to stop mid level. Cause this level's just big. You end up spending I, f I feel like I remember you end up spending kind of a lot of time here.
I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's go with this. Ow. Oh, what are you looking at, Trav? It's rusted shut. Oh, another meat hook. Oh, and this one's in good condition. Cool, cool, cool. Something's blocking it. Can't open the door. What's this? Is this anything? No, it's not anything. All right. Uh, can we go up these stairs? We can. Awesome. I hope I find another save point soon. What are you looking at? A razor. Oh, okay. It'd be nice to find another save point for sure. Okay, can we get out here? Locked from the other side. Cool. How about the second floor? Uh, we got prep rooms and ORs over here. Let's go check those out if we can. We can't. All right. Never mind. How about the intensive care unit? Nope. Female hydrotherapy. Oh, that's where the other key was, supposedly. Oh. Excuse me. Oh, we do got a mirror here. Don't know if we're going to need to use that just yet. But if it's here, then chances are, probably. I would like to... Oh, you're getting back up. Okay. There we go. Damn, Meat Hook's a pretty good weapon. It is in the red now, which is a problem. Let's go check the ECT and the door to hydrotherapy. Lock's broken. Oh, hey, there's a save point here. Okay, gonna just remember where that is. Hydrotherapy bath must be broken because the water is boiling. There is a key at the bottom, but there's no way I can reach it without scalding myself. Well. Tell you what we can do. We can drain the tub. Ah, shit. bath is drained and the key that was in it has been sucked down the plug hole. Who doesn't love a good plug hole? Ugh. Anyway. <laughs> I would like to save. Thank you. 
lot of talk of holes in Silent Hill. He could have used the meat hook. What a silly. Or the drip stand, even. Okay, well, thankfully, we have an idea of actually... We actually have an idea of where that key is going. Some rusty scales. I don't need to know how much I weigh. That's the self-confidence we need. Uh, we're gonna go check some of these. Locking the door. Locking the door. Okay. Uh, next step is we need to go back down to the basement and go to the east pump room. So, pretty easy, all things considered. I'm gonna need to take a screenshot of, like, the settings that I have this at so that I can recreate them. Uh, next time I stream this. It's down to the left here. Oh, is this one of those games that doesn't remember your settings? No, I don't mean the settings for the game. I mean the settings for the... Uh, for the video output uh, in OBS. Because I'm definitely going to want to set it back to default for any other game that I play. Another left turn. Because this is specifically like an alteration I need to make for... Uh, I guess pretty much just this game, honestly. Like, the other ones should be fine. But like this game, because we have to worry about like... Huh. I guess maybe it doesn't end up here. Maybe we need to get to a place on the first floor. We're probably going to need to go use that mirror. Honestly. I bet that's what it is. But yeah, because of um, the conversion uh, to HDMI, like it kind of fucks up the look of it um, and makes it darker, which is why I needed to fuck with the contrast and the brightness. I managed to get something that's like pretty good and pretty close to like what I would normally see. But, like, when I go to do another game, I am going to need to reset to default. Um, just so that, like, those games don't look fucking weird. <laughs> oh, I don't like that noise. Just need to get to female treatment. Ooh, fucking barreling towards me, Jesus. This is the wrong room. This is the wrong room. This is the wrong room. Oh, no! Uh, triangle. It's square. Get out of here. Leave me alone. Alright. Oh. Things have gotten icky. What is this? Is that pistol ammo? I think that's pistol ammo. Yep. Cool.
Okay, so now we're in the other world version of the sanitarium. Now we have a whole new set of rooms to look around. I think I just went to the stairs. Fuck, I sure did. I don't want to go to the stairs yet. Please allow me to look at the other rooms first. Oh shit. No, 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 no. Oh god. Ooh, 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 ooh. A lot of stuff hanging from the ceiling. These guys don't have a grapple, so I think I might be able to get them with the old... Ow. Oh, shit. That may not have gone well for me, actually. Yeah, I am in... Hear that sound? That sound means trouble. Lock's broken. Oh, shit. Lock's broken. Can I get to the female therapy? Room one? Lock's broken! Lock's broken! Shit! Okay, we gotta get at the stairs. I'm assuming that if I go to the stairs, uh, the door to floor one is open, because that seems to be, like, what the intention is, is that... I bet I'm supposed to go to room one, find a mirror, transition back to the fog world, um... And then find out where that key went, uh, kind of gently nudge it further down. Oh, there's a save point here, too. Dope. Nudge it further down its path, and then go pick it up in the, uh... Pick it up in the, uh, basement. Any second now. Yep, first floor's open. It's too bad Travis isn't a locksmith since those skills would be really useful right about now. That's always kind of been like the joke is that one of these days we're going to get... Uh, hilariously, one of these days we're going to get a Silent Hill game. <laughs> Jokes. Um, one of these days we're going to get a Silent Hill game that... What in the goddamn actually... There's a strange depression carved into the door. Looking at it makes my head feel numb. There's also weird noises, and I don't like them. The joke is that one day we're going to get a Silent Hill game. ba da ba ba da ba No, one day we're going to get a... The joke is always one day we're going to get a Silent Hill game where the main character is a locksmith, and he's going to just be able to go anywhere. Because you constantly find, like, doors where the locks are broken and shit like that. Ah, I've always hated you. You and your devil son! Oh god, Helen! My dear, dear Helen! You really are dead! What will I do? That was Mrs. Mimimi. For the record. By the way, just in case, like, it wasn't obvious, um, I think, uh, this note about a patient being moved to a seclusion wing, this is our, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Our objective, essentially. We need to get to the seclusion wing. That's supposed to be the note that tells us what our ultimate goal is. In case it wasn't obvious, because I'm going to be real with you, it's not obvious. They don't make it obvious. Nothing in the drawer. Got target pistol ammo. Okay. This is redacted. Ooh.
Oh, thank God, a mirror. Barbed wire is stretched across the cubicle. Do I have something I can, like, cut that with? I think this is where we need to be for the key anyway. Alright, Travis, let's go. Oh! Things got wiggly. What in the goddamn? To it looks blocked. There's a metal ringing in the pipe. Sounds like something is stuck. Should I flush it? Sure! The toilet has been flushed. So that's our cue that the key has now been freed from its confines. Bring... hold on. What does that say? Bring me my son. Alright, lady. Matron, lock's broken. Oh, hey, yeah, this door's open. Mm. I don't want to be here yet, though, actually. Flush the toilet, and the key is free. Yep. So we should be able to head down to the pipe room now and uh, get that, I'm pretty sure. Ah. Got a baton. Let's go ahead and use that right away. Oh, wait. Hold on. What was that? It's a note. 9.30 a.m. Administered medication to the seclusion patients. There were no incidents. 11.46 a.m. Accompanied Dr. Harris on his morning rounds. No incidents of note. 3 p.m. Visit for Mrs. Mimimim from her husband. Took her into the empty dorm room so she would feel more comfortable. 3.46 p.m. Mrs. Murmur has attacked her husband. During the visit, she had a violent episode and was attempting and attempted to throttle Mr. Murmur. She was heard screaming by myself and the attending orderly, and we managed to restrain her, though it took three of us, despite her being a female of slight build. After we sedated her and took her back to her room, Dr. Harris examined her and decided to reinstate her dose of epilinium. 5.12 p.m. After the incident with Mrs. Murmur, the other patients have become agitated and restless. Harris has ordered a lockdown. Sounds... sounds... sucks, bro. Dark pistol ammo. All right. I think. Oh, hold on. Ah, I didn't see what that was. <laughs> what the hell? Why this noise? What was that? Belongings key. A key marked patient belongings room. Oh, God, I don't know where that is. Hold on. Female sick ward, orderly. Oh, oh. I may actually want to go that way. Patient belongings. Where would patient belongings be? Oh, it's right there. Okay. 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 So first off, let's unlock this. Now it's unlocked. Let's make our way to patient belongings first and foremost. No, uh... Oh, hello. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just gonna go over here real quick, see if I can get through this door. I can't. Alright, never mind that. Uh, let's go over here real quick, see if we can get through this door. Nope. Alright, let's go to a patient belong- Ah, oh, shit! Oh, fuck. Okay. Whoop!
basically, the way that I look at it is that if I can avoid fighting an enemy, either, like, in hallways or if it's if it's a particularly difficult enemy to, like, really deal with, like the carrion or something like that, then I'll probably take them out. Or if it's in, like, a smaller room. But if it's in, like, hallways or larger rooms or in the streets, then I probably won't bother with trying to fight them. Typewriter. Shotgun ammo. Shotgun ammo. Status report 27 1961. Patient, Mrs. Murmur, age 35, examining doctor, Dr. Harris. Notes Mrs. Murmur, condition has degraded dramatically in the last few months. Her fantasies of a mirror world have become more acute, and she spends more and more time in apparent catatonic state. She claims during this time she is in the other world. She now has full recollection of her attack on her son, but shows no remorse for the incident. Indeed, she seems proud, almost smug, of her attempted filicide. I am worried that this behavior could be a side effect of the increased doses of epilonium that the patient has been prescribed. I've asked for her dose to be halved and hope to see positive results shortly. Ain't that just the way. You load someone up on drugs... And suddenly, they're happy that they nearly killed their son. Oh, hey, there's a mirror in here. There's a mirror! Alright, let's go in the mirror. I'm sorry, what? Hold on. I have a shotgun. Okay, it holds two shots. Good to know. We're gonna hold on to as much ammo as we can, for the most part. Can we get into the director's office from here? No, we super can't. I am never going to be able to reach this door. Very astute observation, Travis. Ah, oh, shit! Anyways. What do we got here? Ooh, a first aid kit. Looks like that. Some shotgun ammo. Got a poker. Got to poke some stuff. Alright. If there's carrions out there, I'm going to go ahead and take care of those. I'm going to take carrion of them. I don't know what I'm looking at. What am I looking at? Okay. So now I don't have to worry about those guys ever again. Um, I didn't get a chance to check to see if I could get... Oh, wait, hold on. Can I go to the lobby? Ooh, I super can't. I'm not going to be able to reach the exit. The floor doesn't go any further. Yeah, that's a, that's a hard no. All right. <laughs> Or just stops here. It's impossible to get to the door. Something's blocking it. Uh, okay. Well, on that note, oh, I can go this way. Freaking bugs in front of my face. God. Oh, hi. Don't mind me. I'm just in here looking to see if there's anything interesting. Oh, there is. Dope. 
I don't need any of this. Yeah, don't mind me. Don't mind me. Filing cabinet. Yeah, no, nothing else in here. It was this. Is this anything? Nope. Alright, I'm leaving. Goodbye. I don't remember if there's a way to switch between the uh, Fog World and Other World maps. I'm not a fan of this Dutch angle. I'm gonna be real. And thus, I will leave the Dutch angle. For now. More than anything, it seems like no matter what, we're not going to the men's side of the sanitarium. Nope, oh, shit, there goes one of my chopsticks. Eh. Deep dusty shelves, what are you looking at? Oh, there's a health drink over here. Shotgun ammo, and there's a note. Ah, attending officer's report, 11-4-1959. I remember when I arrived at the blah, blah, blah house, the ambulance was already at the scene. The neighbor, Ms. Mr. Bryant, who first called in the incident, had restrained Mrs. Mermer, and the paramedics were tending to the child. The husband, Mr. Mermer, had not yet arrived back from his place of work. Thanks to Bryant's intervention, the gas had been turned off and the house ventilated. However, there was still a strong smell, and I deemed it necessary to call the fire department as a precaution. It appeared that Mrs. Mermer had attempted to gas herself and her child. When I spoke to the suspect, Mrs. Mermer, she was uncooperative and seemed enraged. She demanded that I release her so she could kill the devil child. She was clearly not in control of her mind. Mr. Bryant commented that several times in the previous weeks he had heard loud arguments and screams from the house. He said Helen has not been well for a while. What are you looking at? Keeps saying nothing useful, but he's looking at something. Hmm. Looking at nothing useful. Yeah, basically. Locks broken, can't open the door. Okay, well, on that note. Uh, I guess stairs? Sure. The Duchess of Angles. Angles don't get much more Dutch than this. feeling. Oh, fuck, an ampool. And a hammer. That's awesome. Oh, there's a mirror in here. That's actually really useful. Let's go ahead and just pop that bad boy. What are you looking at? 
Target pistol ammo. Okay. Now it's unlocked. Woo! All right, well, now that we're down here, we can go to the pipe room. Which I think is just at the end of this hallway, isn't it? Yeah, it is. All right. God, I sure that I sure hope that key didn't fall down the fucking drain. There's a key in the drain, but I can't reach it through the grate. Oh no! Really? Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Well, I don't have any ideas. <laughs> I don't think we have anything that we can use for that right now. Let me... Yeah, no, not really. Okay, let's swap back to the other world. Maybe we can find a room that's got something useful in it. We were looking at a desk for a moment there. Oh yeah, that's a carrion. Alright, so we'll check the storage in the East Pipe room, see it. Oh wait, no, that's not a carrion, that's a fucking remnant. There's two of them. Two of them are gonna be hard to get by, so. Best to take at least one of them out. I think this door on the left is storage? Yeah. Something's blocking it. Okay. Wait, what were you looking at before? Okay, I think you're just looking at the enemy there. Nothing over here. Is this door open? It is! Okay. So what horrible waste is being pumped in the other world, I wonder. Oh. Just in, just the key. Okay. <laughs> we can just get the key in the other world, I guess? Alright. Yeah, sure. Where the hell is interview archives? Hold on. Cause female seclusion is where we're looking to go, but we have there's a there's the weird symbol that we have to get. Looks like interview archives is on the second floor. Which can I Oh, okay, that's how you do it. Which we can get to. Yeah, okay. So what would be the easiest way to do this? I suppose we'd want to hit, hit that mirror. Then take the stairs up to the second floor. Yeah. All right, easy enough. I'm going to go I'm going to try and go till at the very least we get the item that we're going to need to um, unlock that door to the final bo to the boss of this area and then I'm probably going to stop. I think I think that would be a good stopping point. We'll start with the boss next week. 
not next week, but the week after, um, where hopefully uh, I will have uh, some neat stuff to share. Because I've had I've had some plans for this playthrough as well as the next one uh, in the works for a little while now. So I'm really hoping to get to do something with that next time. Okay, so we just gotta head all the way up to the second floor. Oh, let's go ahead and hit this save point. Insufficient free space on memory card. Really? Uh, okay. Let me just overwrite. Yes, overwrite. Damn, I guess I gotta do some fucking memory card shit. Oh well. It happens. We'll just overwrite what we have. It's not a huge problem. Okay, just gotta run right past this guy. Just need to make for the archive. What was that thumping noise? That's weird. Oh, you had to. Please help me understand. That's what you do with pests. That's what you do, isn't it? And he was a pest. Oh, he was a bad boy. Always has been. I tried to pretend he wasn't, but they were there to make sure I didn't forget. They? The people in the mirrors. They see it all. What's really going on. And it was their idea? Yes. They saw the devil inside of him. I had to kill him. My responsibility. My flesh and blood. I brought him into this world, so I had to take him out of it. I swear to God, that is one of the most overused lines. I you think what I did was wrong. I just want to understand. Helen. No. You want to keep me locked up, Doctor. But you can't. I can leave whatever I want. I can step through that mirror and into their world. This world is just a daydream. Helen? When will they bring me my boy? Fucking, I brought you in this world. I can... It's my job to take you out of it. It's just like, uh... Really? You're going with that line? That line I've heard, like, at least 20 times before? That's what we're going with? Alright, let's go ahead and pop into this mirror here real quick. This mirror... M-E-E-R. Oh. oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What are you looking at? Full of junk. Is there maybe something on the other side? I got a katana? I'm sorry? Oh my god. Awesome. He holds it like an idiot, too. It's great. Hey, Gordux. Welcome to the shark stream. Good to have you.
If you can't trust a trucker to hold a katana right, then who can you trust, honestly? Like, come on, Travis, get it together. Lock's broken. Ooh, gosh. Oh. I guess we are going over to this side. Fun times in the polio ward? Nope. Guess not. No fun times in the polio ward allowed. Alright, let's check. Before we try the stairs, let's go ahead and check other... Oh. Never mind. Let's go to the stairs. <laughs> I feel like there's another... Mirror. And like, I want to say a bathroom somewhere that had like a... I think it might be that one. It had a thing. No, whatever. Right, can I go up? It doesn't seem like it. I think I'm on floor two, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Alright, let's see if we can head out to... Nope! Basement it is! I'm surprised that I am managing to find my path here at all, honestly. This place is so fucking dark. Alright, I guess first things first, let's check the door right in front of us here. And lock's broken. Okay, let's go check that storage door then. Oh, this one's open. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, there's a mirror. Is the mirror the only thing in here? Looks like it. According to your dictionary... According to your dictionary.com, a mirror is the definition of mirror. An alternative spelling for mirror means something smaller and important. An example of mirror is making a reference to $5 being a very small amount. A mirror amount. Probably buy a mirror for $5. Amber Incident Report. Reporting staff member Simons. Incident Description. A male child entered into the sanitarium unchallenged and got through into female seclusion. Doors were left unlocked. He entered the female seclusion room at 5, which, at which point orderly Michael's... Uh, observed him and alerted me. The boy was the child of a visitor and he was taken away by his father. Failures. The doors to the female exclusion were left unlocked by the orderly and the staff in the lobby failed to notice the boy when he arrived in the mezzanine area. Uh, recommendation. All staff to be reminded of the importance of locking ward doors. Review of staff to be conducted, conducted by duty managers. Yeah, that seems like it's probably important. I had to look up if it's an actual word. I'm sorry. It's okay. I understand. I don't want to be making these jokes and then find out, like, whoops, it's not a great word to be saying. Wouldn't that just be the worst? Alright. Lock's broken, so can't go that way. Stairs are open. And we don't want to go to stairs just yet. God, I forgot how big this fucking level is. Looks like this door opens. Or not. Thought it did. Okay, well, stairs it is. Generally, his head is only supposed to turn towards doors that can be opened. But, uh, whatever, I guess. Wrench. Blocking it, can't open the door. Is that a door I can get in? 
Ooh, I can unlock this one. Hold on. Now it's unlocked. Cool. Oh, okay. Well, Travis is just appreciating the fine architecture that is a door. A door is an incredible piece of machinery. It's true. A true marvel of engineering. Doors are. Okay, I'm going to be real. I have no idea where I'm going. Uh, what is that symbol supposed to be? Oh, that's the toilet I flushed. Do I have a key to the director's office? I don't think I do. Yeah, no, I haven't picked one up. Uh, there's a couple places I guess I haven't been yet? Alright, well. As long as you get lost confidently, then no one will know. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, fuck. Okay. Right, I have to go through the solarium for this one. A little odd to make me do so, but, you know, whatever. I'm not complaining. I'm complaining a little bit. Just, just a tiny bit. I'm going to complain so much anyway. Okay. Save our game, because we've actually done quite a bit. Right. A little complaining, you know, as a treat. Yeah, basically. So I went through this door right before I died to that carrion. And I hit up the storage in here and got some additional ammo, but I don't think I did much else past that. Like, I didn't explore this particular area. So, it's time to explore this area, because I think it's probably... Like, there's probably some stuff in the other world we haven't done. Oh, we can get another drip stand in here, too. Yoink. There's probably some stuff in the other world that I still need to do. I'll just need to find, like, what doors I I have access to that I haven't tried yet, essentially. That's how Silent Hill works. Boiler room. Fun times in the boiler room, let's go. And no. No fun times in the boiler room, actually. Is there nothing else in this fucking hallway? Really? Wow, for real. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and take a look here then. So, I think I have tried everything I have access to down here. Yep. Alright, let's go up. So, that's cut off to me. Can't go upstairs. Did that, did that, did that. Director's office, East Solarium. Can't get into the female wards. Check that storage room. There's a mirror there. Female dorm. Okay. Can't get over here at all. Uh, there's the TB ward. I don't think we have anything else we can do with. Storage. We got over here. Female hydrotherapy. Okay. So what do we have access to that we haven't tried yet? Uh, there are a few 
spots on the second floor atrium here in the other world that we haven't tried. We can check those out. Uh, we've tried everything on the first floor, I'm pretty sure. Uh, couldn't do anything with that. Uh, okay, laundry. We haven't tried the matron or the female wards on the first floor in the other world yet. I can't imagine we're going to have much more luck there. East pipe room, storage. We haven't tried going here yet. Okay. I think I've I think I've got a, a path charted out here. Hold on. You two must become like Travis and really, really appreciate the fine work of art that are doors. So I think first things first, we're gonna want to pop over to the other world real quick. It's actually why I appreciate the Resident Evil maps, since they usually tell you if you have still items to collect in those rooms. They do tend to do that, and I do appreciate that. Generally, if there's an important thing that you need to come back to in a Silent Hill game, um, normally uh, it is marked on the map. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and try to go down that hallway, see if that's available to us. If it isn't, then we'll start heading upstairs. Because there's a couple other places we can check. Let's see here. Oh, this is open. Okay, okay. Hmm. We got a hard cutoff in here, though. So it may be that this is a hallway with nothing in it. Which is entirely par parsable? Am I okay? Oh, hold on. We found something. What's this? It's another meat hook. Okay. What is that? Okay, so there is a way for us to get on that side. Okay. Okay. I see what we have to do. Alright, so we need to go upstairs. floor had like the matron in it it was this one can I go all the way upstairs here hold on I don't think I have this is what I was talking about with this game is just like you get these two versions of each level to go through but like it's like, just, then the second level in the game is this absolutely fucking huge level, and it's just like, ugh, alright. <laughs> Why not? Alright, so our best bet here is going to be going over to patient belongings, and hitting the mirror up. Is this a door I can go through? Nope. Okay. Just want to have that marked off on the map. How do I fucking... Alright, here we go. And then we'll make our way over to that bathroom, get the mirror in there, and use that to get to both the stairs and uh, the matron and female wards. 
see if we have any uh, thing that we can get in there. We need lots of second level, clearly a two for one special. It's never bad, right? Sure, sure, let's go with that. Because it seems like what we're really sort of looking for here is, I'm assuming that the direction we're going for is we're trying to get into the director's office. I'm guessing that's where we're going to get the thing we need in order to progress. That's kind of a big guess, admittedly. The big conjecture. Big conjecture. I'm going to have to start splicing together this video basically immediately after I stop. Not that I have a problem with that. It's just it's going to take a while for me to get it rendered. I'm This is why I am glad that I don't play uh, Final Fantasy 14 on the PC because I can just use my PS4 while the video is rendering. It's going to make it weird to try and like screen share and and stuff uh, with my friends, but if they want me to screen share that is big conjecture, but I'm sure Travis's intu intuition is correct. Big intuitions. Oh shit. Okay, uh, immediately go to the left. Let's go! Oh shit, that's a box! Oh no! Lock's broken. Is this door open? Nope. Okay. Basically, right away, I need this. Okay, so now that we've confirmed that we can't go there, we need to go for the fucking uh, stairs. Ow. Alright, that was cool. It wasn't, but... Gotta stay positive. I don't think that there are any other levels that are this kind of egregious in, like, how big they are. Like, I'm pretty sure the next level is the theater. And the theater actually has a pretty cool mechanic in it. Um, a mechanic that is so cool that I think Downpour kind of uses it a little bit. Although I really like the way that Downpour does it, too. Okay, I don't think I've tried to go through this door yet. I'm really hoping it's not locked. Please don't be locked. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Alright, let's go this way because we saw a bunch of stuff on the other side of those bars that I want to pick up. Broken fuse box. Wasn't there like a melee weapon around here too? Or was I seeing things? Nope, I was seeing things. Okay, that's fine. It's Silent Hill. You see things sometimes. Oh, this this floor is squishy. I don't like that. That's bad. Lock's broken. Well, shit. Okay. Um. Hmm. I guess let's go to the west pipe area. God, we're really just kind of fucking running all over the goddamn place. I'm going to hit three hours on this soon, and I think I might just... You know what? I'm just going to stop here. We'll pick this up next time. Um, I want to thank everybody for coming by the stream. I hope you all had a good time. I know I did. Uh, if you enjoy the stream, you can subscribe here on Twitch. We have special emotes at tiers 1, 2, and 3. 
Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter at San underscore Intolerant or on YouTube at YouTube.com slash San Intolerant where I post all these streams after they happen. Is, it, is that just because this was the new level added but the other ones are more so based off of Silent Hill 1? Eh, sort of. I think really only Alcanilla is the only one that's repeated. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah. Um, art for the stream was done by Ficus Art on Twitter. You can uh, find Fair Work at, uh, at Ficus Art. That's F-I-C-U-S-A-R-T. Um, Fair stuff's fantastic uh upcoming streams we're taking a week off uh my parents are going to be in town so i uh won't be streaming this week uh this coming week uh but i will be back the next week uh for more ocarina of time final fantasy 14 either oblivion or bioshock and then some more silent hill origins and hopefully i'll have something special when we're back for that uh so i hope you'll tune in um Mm, what else i think that is it uh and i will see you next time on the shark stream same shark time same shark channel take care